Consistency is king. Oh yeah. I've ran an experiment to find out the best wheels to help your robot perform consistently in the first LEGO League robot game. These two robots are pretty much identical apart from the wheels. Both wheels perform well and achieve the mission when a light attachment frame is added to the robot. The black wheels win this test as the return spot was identical in all three runs. The next test is a push-pull test. These robots are pushing some objects across the mat to achieve the mission. This is typically where errors occur. If your robot doesn't have enough traction, it will not turn accurately. On the right, you can see the spike wheels did not have enough traction to pull the flower lever back. Because of this, the robot is now facing a different way. Therefore, the next part of the code will likely fail as well. The spike wheels have failed three times and finished in three different spots whereas the black wheels have completed it three times and finished in three identical spots. The final test is adding a heavy attachment frame. This can be quite common in First Lego League, particularly when you're trying to achieve multiple missions in one run. The robot on the left moves faster as the wheels have a slightly bigger diameter than the spike wheels. You can see the spike wheels lost traction on the right hand turn. It didn't turn straight away, meaning it's in a slightly different location. This is what makes the robot very inconsistent. Choosing the right wheels for your FLL robot can make all the difference in achieving those consistent and impressive results.